and welcome to Science with Miss Hickman. It's going to be a really fun episode today because we're going to be making volcanoes. I recently, as of last night, finally turned in my uh, big test that is uh, to see if I can get my teaching license. So what better way to celebrate than to blow something up, right? In a safe way. So the materials we need today. Uh, we need uh, a plastic bottle. I chose a small one, uh, like a regular water bottle, you can use soda bottle, whatever. Um, and we'll need uh, some white vinegar, like we've used before, uh, if you had been with us in previous episodes. We're going to need uh, a paper bag, a small one, some tape and scissors, uh, one fourth cup baking soda, some food coloring of your choice. Uh, just a regular piece of paper for the funnel and then a little more baking soda for later when we have some fun. We're going to take the lid off of it, if <laughs> the lid is on it still. And this is the hard part for me, is actually having the, uh, what do you call it, the gracefulness to put this in. So you're going to fill your bottle halfway. I'm going to stand up because I need to mentally prepare myself as much as possible. As you can see, I'm doing this outside because this one is a messy one. So please be doing this experiment outside or at least have like a cookie sheet underneath to uh, catch the fallout. So that's about halfway, don't you think? We got that. And then what you wanna do now I'm going to put this down, is you're going to choose your food coloring of choice, which I have it in my handy dandy pocket. I couldn't decide on if I wanted to go the regular route of red, or if I wanted to go the fun route of blue. So why not both? Let's make purple. So I'm going to open up my red, put like four drops in there. Seal that up, put it back in your pocket. <laughs> and then I'm going to put another four. Oh, that was five, but that's okay. Put, put it away. I'm going to put my lid on. I'm not going to shake it too vigorously. I'm just going to like invert it. Cool. All right. So what we're going to do next is we're going to get our measuring cup and our baking soda if you haven't already pre-measured based off of the um, what you might call it directions as you can see it's at one fourth cup I'm going to put this down away remove anything you don't want to get messed up we're actually going to set the baking soda aside, and this is where the paper bag comes in. So you're going to take your paper bag, it doesn't have to be pretty, open it up, and then take your scissors, and you're going to cut off the tip, just a little bit, where a volcano is going to be. So you're going to put over your water bottle, which take off your lid, you silly goose, Miss Hickman. And we're going to put the paper bag over, just enough so that you can kind of see. Come on, crinkle it up, make it look like a cone, make it look like a volcano. And then I'm going to take my tape, like a long ish piece and it's kind of windy outside so I'm going to tape carefully to make sure it semi sort of stays in place only a second piece it doesn't have to be perfect because it's just going to get messed up anyways with the lava right Yeah, just crank it up, do what you gotta do. 
Okay. Now is the fun part. So what you want to do is you want to take that extra piece of paper that we got out for our funnel. I'm gonna set this aside to show you guys how I do it. So I just take the piece of paper, start with the corner, and pull. So that way there's a skinny side and the open side where you can put the baking soda in through. Okay, this is the part that makes me nervous and I'm going to stand up and get away from it. Move the chair over here. Okay, so you have your volcano. You have the colored um, vinegar in there. Now what we want to do, and I'm going to put the camera up a little bit so I can stand up, is put the funnel in here. And you want to do this in like the quickest way possible because it's going to it's going to happen really fast. Okay. I didn't want to go. <laughs> the volcano is erupting. Whoa, it is kind of purple. <laughs> I have a lot more in here that didn't come out. Okay, so what we're going to try and do is we're going to add more. What's going to happen? Just keep adding a little bit. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's so fun. So what's happening here is I put the vinegar in with the baking soda and those two mixing together causes the formation of carbon dioxide, which is a gas that creates the bubbles and makes it just shoot up. And so that is a, an actual gas that is in volcanoes, um, real ones, not paper bag ones. And um, what happens after the volcano actually erupts is the gas, the carbon dioxide is thrown into the atmosphere and um, it goes everywhere. That The biggest one that our uh, science book talks about is Krakatoa, which happened a really long time ago, but it killed so many people because of how big of a an explosion and eruption it was and how much uh, gas and everything came out and so what uh, it was in 1883 and it was such a big force it resulted in a bunch of tsunamis happening and around 40,000 people um, died unfortunately volcanoes are no joke they are really dangerous and so it actually changed the geography so the video cut off, I apologize for that, but uh, we were talking about how um, how big of a deal it was that that uh, volcano went off and how it actually changed the geography of the uh, islands where it happened. And um, sorry, my puppy wants to say hi. Hi puppy! <laughs> uh, he's adorable. Let's wipe off that slobber. Uh, so the amount of sulfur dioxide that went into the atmosphere via the ash and uh, dust actually created one of the most magnificent um, sunsets recorded in history. So at least one good thing came out of it, I guess. Uh, way back then, we didn't have such colorful ones. Um, <laughs> yeah, so we learned something new today. I hope you guys had fun and that uh, You'll be able to clean up everything before you go back inside. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye!